Hi, I'm Andrea Ferrigno, and I'm from Des Moines, Iowa originally, and I'm currently living in Galesburg, Illinois, where I'm an assistant professor of art at Knox College. My work is primarily driven by a curiosity to understand the world, about a curiosity of manipulating materials, of generating new work, and what I'm going to discover through the process. My process is heavily rooted in drawing practice. I do a ton of drawings. I try to draw almost every day. Um, I'm really interested in geometry, how it relates to architecture, the body, and sciences as well, how we objectively understand the world. And so a lot of my drawings come out of a process that gleams from the information from those areas. And if you're making a lot of drawings on a regular basis, some of those drawings then become the springboard into the paintings and become the starting point for that. And I do make large scale drawings and paintings yeah, I'm definitely interested in the, the synthesis between an objective, analytical way of understanding the world and then the intuitive and what, I bring, my, what my experience brings into the work um, and how those things come into conversation with each other. Uh, I got interested in working with systems by looking at Solowitz's work and thinking about his sentences on conceptual art. And he was striving for a high level of objectivity within the pieces. And, and I was interested in bringing the subjective into that and kind of disrupting the systems. Over the last few years, my work has definitely become more interested in exploring color and the relationships of color. And it is through color that I feel like I'm bringing even more subjective uh, experience into the work. The color is informed a lot by memory, emotions. Um, it's that I'm right now. I'm trying to make that more and more specific. It began get more analytically. I think a lot of my work starts analytic, and then as I get um, used to starting a new body of work, I, intuition takes over. And currently, I'm trying to allow the intuitive to have even a stronger role in the work. I'm also kind of inching towards the figure more and more. The figures definitely had an underlying presence in the work, and I'm kind of allowing that to have a, a more clear role in the work. But my work has been kind of spans the range of painting, drawing, and printmaking. I don't like ever feeling like I'm kind of in one place too long. I, I like, if I get too comfortable working with a system or a certain mode of working, I, that's the time to like import a new idea, try something new. But I aim to be really generous with my work for the viewer. I do, I make work because I want the viewer to have a relationship with it. I feel that that's a way, it's a different way of communicating. I hope that some of my original intention or experience or emotion does get translated through the work, but I'm also very interested in what people bring to it. And so I'm interested in ambiguity and abstraction for that reason, so that it is open to interpretation and it's always exciting to hear different people what they see in the work and what they think of. And ultimately, if they have some feeling or they feel moved in any way, then I feel like that's the most successful. I'm excited to show uh, in Bloomington, Illinois, the McLean County Art Center. Um, being in Galesburg, this is a nice, uh, it, it feels local still. Um, Galesburg is very small, so if I'm trying to get to know Illinois more and so I'm excited to bring the work bring the work here and engage with the community.